Today in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to play Save Me by Jelly Roll and Laney Wilson. Let's get into it. I'm Zach here with Guitar and Garages, and today I'm going to be showing you how to play a song. It's going to be broke up into three different sections. You're going to have the chords, the strumming pattern, and the picking pattern. And I'd also like to add that I am just a huge fan of Jelly Roll. That guy is amazing. Like... And uh, if you've watched any YouTube videos or anything of him, I've never been to his concerts personally, but he seems to be emotionally invested in his audience and really cares to what his audience wants to hear. And I like, I love covering songs or playing anything that uh, can relate to me personally or that can relate to anybody else, you know. It's just a real good, wholesome guy, I think. But um, make sure also to stick around toward near the end of this video. I'll be playing this song around full speed so you all can hopefully play along with me. Now let's get into playing them chords. So Save Me only consists of four easy chords. It'll be a C, an E minor, an A minor, and a F major 7. Your C chord, to play it, you'll put your index finger on the 1st fret 2nd string, your middle finger on the 2nd fret 4th string, and the ring finger on the 3rd fret 5th string. And your C will sound like this. Now let's move over to your E minor. Very simple chord. You will take your index finger and put it on the second fret of the fifth string. And you will take your middle finger and put it on the second fret of the third string. I mean, the fourth string, sorry. And it'll sound like this. You'll hit all six chords openly. And then we'll go to your A minor. And it'll put your index finger on the first fret, second string. You'll put your middle finger on the second fret, fourth string. And you'll put your ring finger on the second fret, third string. And it'll sound like this. And then we'll move over to your F major seven, final note. And you'll put your index finger on the first fret, second string. You'll put your middle finger on the second fret, third string. And you'll put your ring finger on the third fret, fourth string. And you wanna try to hit only these four chords because it sounds the best but you can hit them all you know but it sounds best with four and uh that's all four chords for this song okay and now i'll be showing you how the strumming pattern goes you start off with your c and it goes down up down up down up down the strumming pattern again. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So when you play your C, it'll sound like this. And then you'll switch on the up stroke. When you're finished, you will switch to your E and continue that strumming pattern just as you were on the C. And it'll sound like this together when you switch correctly. C. Then you switch to your E. Same thing. You switch to your A minor. Same thing. Switch to your F. go 
through it all together. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, E. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, A minor. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, F. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And you'll go straight back to your C. That's how you strum in this song. And I will only note that the strumming pattern is really only used during the chorus of this song. Now let's get on to the picking pattern that I'm sure you are all here for. So you'll be starting your picking pattern using your C note, of course, your C chord. And uh, the order you'll be hitting it will be five, three, two, one. Two, three. You'll be playing this two times. And it'll sound like this. Five, three, two, one, two, three. Five, three, two, one, two, three. Five, three, two, one, two, three. You'll play the C two times. Then you'll move over to your E. But you will keep playing the same exact chords as of right now. Five, three, two, one, two, three. Five, three, two, one, two, three. And then you will switch to your A minor. Same chords, or same picking pattern. Five, three, two, one, two. This is where it'll change just slightly. You'll play your F, and then you'll go four, three, two, one, two, three. Four, three, two, one, two, three. And then you'll repeat back the same progression throughout the rest of the song until you hit the chorus. And again, if you cannot play this picking pattern, that is totally fine. You can easily play this song um, with the radio at any time using the strumming pattern I showed you. Okay, now like I said we would do in the intro, I'm going to be showing you the song at full speed. So please feel free to join along if you'd like. Alright guys, that pretty much wraps it up for this video. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed it, and if you made it this far, please don't forget to like, subscribe, drop a comment. Please guys, we need a little rain. It'd be nice to hear from you, it really would. Uh, we're just throwing videos out one or two a week if we're lucky. And, uh, you know, we're just really trying to see what you guys would like to learn. Um, we know several songs, but we don't know what you want to learn unless you tell us. Which I know it's probably hard to find us right now, but hopefully, you know, you'll be able to soon. 
And uh, again, you know, you can watch some of our other videos. They'll be popping up right here on the right. And uh, don't forget, we are trying to bring new content to this, you know, to everything you guys want. Um, not only teaching guitar, but uh, if you all would like us to teach you how to play certain chords only, a video on chords, then we can do that. Uh, or if you just like the style, put the chords in with the song that we're doing right now, that's fine too. But uh, if you want more, just let us know. I mean, we're here, like I said, you know. And um, uh, we're also going to try to maybe start buying pawn shop guitars. Um, you know, everybody, nobody really knows. Like if you're a beginner and you're like, man, it'd be cool to build a guitar one day. Like, we've never done it, but we're going to try it. <laughs> so uh, you'll know if it's a good idea or a bad one from us because we don't know how to do it. But we are going to try it eventually. But please just comment and let us know what you guys would like. Again, this is Guitar Garages, and I'll see you next time.